So if you are a believer and you're starting to get excited and curious about making art with God, also known as prophetic art, and you're wondering, can I do this? Is this possible? Or is this just for the gifted people? You actually can do this. You really can. I've been a prophetic artist for over 10 years and I have been where you are and I'm about to give you some really practical tips that are gonna help you to get through this, but you can just jump in and let's go. Welcome to Celebration State, where we empower Christian creatives to grow in their love for God and also in their creativity that he gives them. Wow, we're about to get into how do you start a prophetic work of art? How do you make art with God? Let's do this, you guys. Here are some really basic things that we believe that kind of guide us through this process. Number one, all believers can hear from God. And number two, all believers can create with God because he is the source of creativity. And so if you don't know why we believe that, click the link up above me right now and it'll take you to a whole playlist of all of our prophetic videos that talk about the ins and outs of prophecy, why we believe about it, what we do through scripture and all that amazing stuff. But if you wanna just simplify it and get super practical, if you can be rooted in identity, it says, in the last days I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh and your sons and daughters will prophesy. If you believe that you are a son or a daughter of Christ, then you can, in that rooted place of identity, trust that God is going to speak to you and give you a picture to let you draw. And it might seem really weird to you and it might look like really, really basic and simple, but you can do this and everyone's gotta start somewhere. So don't despise humble beginnings and let's do this, you guys. So to begin, we're going to be drawing near to God. That's number one. And so this might look different for you, but for me, sometimes it could look like having worship music on. And I often, when I am painting, I'll have either a worship music playing or I'll have a message, like a sermon playing, or it could just mean that you spend some time just to rest in him, to read his word, and just really focus on being close to him and not so much the anxiety, the worry of like, what am I gonna do? I'm nervous, I'm scared, I've never done this before. So just, just pursuing him, try to do that first. That's step one. Number two, once you feel like you have drawn close, then pray in faith. And what I mean when I say that is, pray like you believe that he hears you, and then pray like you believe that he's going to answer you. It's again, being so rooted in that place that you are actually his child and that he wants to speak to you. And then if we are asking from that place, then the anxiety, the worry, the fear, that is not gonna get in the way as much because God is speaking to you, but your fear and your worry can get in the way of that message. So pray in faith. Step number three, we are going to wait. Now you could wait a long time or a little time, but don't wait too long because if you wait too long, you're just gonna start second guessing yourself, saying, was that me, was that him? I don't know, getting kind of too much in your head, basically. But we are gonna wait just a little bit here, <laughs> unless you feel like you need to wait longer, you have to, and you're not just getting weighed down with condemnation and confusion. We're gonna just wait and believe that he's going to speak to you. And so what that could look like as you're waiting, it could look like just a color. I know for me, I often will see things blurry and I have to start drawing them out as I'm waiting. And then that blurry thing becomes more obvious as I start to define its shape and God will guide me as I move in that. And that's the next part, which is step four, which is the acting, acting in faith. And you can actually do this part even if you feel like you didn't get anything in the waiting, you can just trust that he's going to draw you to certain things. He's gonna draw your eye maybe to a specific color. If you're painting, if you're just drawing, maybe he's going to draw you to specific kinds of lines as you start moving your pencil on the paper. But you're just going to trust that as you are moving, he's going to be able to direct you. For me, how I said that I see things kind of blurry and as I start to define them, I can tell, oh, that's actually a girl instead of a blob. It turned into a girl who's praying on the ground or, you know, as I, as I begin to move in the painting, he'll make things clearer. But I know that probably for some people it works differently to where you may get, oh, start with pink 
paint the whole canvas pink, just paint it pink. And then after you do that, he'll tell you the next step. And so we are trusting, we're acting in faith that God has heard us, that we maybe have heard him. And so instead of acting out of fear, we're actually just going to try and see if what comes out could actually be God. And now that brings us to step five, which is to test in humility. Okay, so that means that you're going to try it out in faith, but then you're also not going to hold on too tightly to this thing being yours. And also, it was from God for sure. Thus saith the Lord. There's no way I was wrong about this. We're not doing that. We, it says to test every single prophecy. Okay, but we're also, we're learning. And so we're just kind of, as a child, just kind of learning how to walk. Maybe you stumble, maybe you trip and you skin your knee. Who knows? Or maybe you walk great because you're holding daddy's hand the whole time. The only way that we find out is by acting on it, doing it in faith, walking it out, acting in faith, and then looking and seeing, okay, was this really from God or not? And you can do that by comparing it to the word. God's never going to contradict himself. You can do that by asking someone that you trust in the Lord as someone who knows about prophecy and knows about how God's voice sounds, who can direct you in that. You are always welcome to ask me any questions in this process. I just wanted to keep this video really simple for everyone who's getting started in prophetic art and just know that you actually can do this. You really can. If you are a son or a daughter, you can make art with God. You can hear his voice. Be sure and comment down below. Let me know if you do have any questions. I do really get excited when you guys ask me questions and let me know too if there's areas that are not explained in this video or in our prophecy playlist that would be helpful for you because I want to make videos that are encouraging and helpful for you guys edifying as you are trying to pursue growing in your creativity and growing with God. And these videos have this amazing and unique purpose of building up and empowering Christian creatives who maybe don't benefit from having a thriving artistic community of Christians around them for whatever reason that might be, or maybe it's just supplementing your already rich Christian community and mentorship that you really already benefit from. And that's okay too. But if you will give comments and you will like and subscribe, it actually helps us to reach those people who maybe feel isolated, feel like they're on their own and they don't know how to move in this creativity thing with God in prophecy. So please do that for us. It would help us out a lot. If you got value from this video, if you would like and comment, we would so appreciate it, you guys. We made this channel to bless and empower the body of believers to begin to move in power, in art, to take up their mantle, and to move in strength in this area because we believe that God is just that good, that he built us with creativity and that he's not far from us. He is near. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Be so blessed and get started.